Okay, so now that I've cleaned up my horizontal layout, let's take a look at how that... Um, I'm going to sign out of here because we need to, I need to show you how to sign in there. Um, I'm going to look at my pages and you'll see how I've got this all laid out. I'll just click on these, you can see it came out pretty clean. So I've got it all cleaned up and what I want to do now is I'm going to go on ahead and, and with this all finished up, we're going to go into Folio Builder and this is uh, what you need. These are why it's important when you've got your CS5 and 5.5 and CS6 you need to get your updates under the help up here. If you haven't done that, you make sure this is done but you should have all your updates and this is where you're going to be filling, you know, building your you're uh, building your publication and now getting it for public, uh, get it on online and published. Um, what we want to do is we want to open up the window, Folio Builder. We want to sign in. And I'm going to get my login and password. It's usually your email address and a password. Okay, so I'm signing in. And you're going to see, I've, I've kind of did a test with this before. I've got an SD iPad test. I've got four more years here. This is a book I worked on. Now, it's important to understand the difference between a folio and an article. Folio is the name of your project. It's a project in which you nest all of your uh, articles. Each article is a uh, Adobe InDesign document with several pages. And I divided my book that I built into a cover, made that a separate uh, article, an index, and then my chapters. And it's always good to do that because it just organizes it a little bit better. You don't have the whole document, uh, you know, in the one one file. Um, so what we're going to do here? Let's go back now. Here's our. Um, uh, we're going to create a new folio of our project, and we're going to call it New York Brew. We want to indicate that we are going to put. Uh, you got the size. It doesn't matter which size because right now uh, we're going to go horizontal and vertical. So we want to make sure we have both formats of the orientation selected. We're not going to do just one or the other. We're going to do both. Let's hit OK. And now we have our new folio. It should show right up here. Now, if you realize, I'm going to go back, and, and this is very important. If you're going to be importing both a vertical and horizontal design, what you want to make sure, again, is that you have all of this into one folder. Now here's our iPad, SED iPad design, and I have both my iPad vertical uh, design and my horizontal design in that folder. Now this is going to make it very easy and seamless to to import all of that together. We need to do it in one swoop. So what I'm going to do is get this all get it up here. And now I'm going to go under the, this is an article that, that we're going to we want to import. So we're going to import both the horizontal and vertical layout uh, in in one one shot. We're going to import multiple articles. So it's going to ask me to look for a folder. So when I do multiple articles, it's going to have all those articles in there. And what I want to do is go to my projects folder and. Um, Let's see, let me try that again. File, import. Maybe it does a different. Hold on, I think I gotta go import a single article. Let's try the location and single article. Let's see here. Desktop. Go to my projects folder. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that. Let's make sure I've named it first. So I'm gonna call this uh, SNDI. Had, had design. Okay, horizontal swipe. We want all of those to come in the horizontal swipe. I'm going to look for that folder. Go back to my desktop and find my projects folder. And I'll do it. Right here, desktop. Okay, design. Oh yeah, I'm right. Um, so I'll click up iPad Design Original, and I'm gonna go open, and it should I should hit OK, and it's going to open up that folder that was in my uh, iPad. It read that folder. That's the only one that has those documents in there. 
it has my vertical and my horizontal layout. So those are the ones we want. And it's looking for that particular folder. It's going to take a little while, probably to download, and only because of the size of the videos. So what we'll do is we'll come back to that uh, and see the test when this uploads so that we save time.